Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 45 of the No Man's Land Build It Challenge with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the No Man's Land Builder Challenge. You join us pretty much same day, just after I finished the the olive harvest. Um, as you saw from the little intro at the start, we've got the rest of our olive trees uh, harvested from um, the previous episode. And yeah, we're now just going to dump them in. So I got a total of 3,901 litres of olives off all those trees. So not a great deal but uh, I just thought I'd quickly show you this I don't really need to do it just now but uh, yeah it is quite a quite a funky little trailer actually I do like it um, and then yeah we can just tip it like that so quite a quite a useful uh, machine and um, so we'll probably will use that again at some point but um, for now that's in there and I think yeah, we'll do. We'll get that uh, processing at some other point. I have put 5,000 litres of uh, sunflowers in there as well um, from our greenhouses. And I have, as you saw at the intro as well, I sold some stuff. So I sold some um, some grape juice, and I sold some butter, and I've sold some bits, other bits and bobs. And um, so if we go onto the finances screen. Uh, there we go, sold items, yeah, so $212,303 of uh, items, uh, of products we've sold. Um, so, yeah, things are ticking on nicely with that. And I use that money to help uh, lease um, ourselves a harvester. So, just over here, ready for the sunflowers, we have a class Lexion 770. This is... Uh, this is the last uh, set of mods, he, he released this, the full set of class harvesters. Um, Sid, seed, mod, seed Modding uh, released all these. these, this was his final mod pack before he got uh, taken up by Giants, so he's now modding for Giants, for those that didn't know. But um, yes, it's a uh, yeah, fantastic mod. Um, so this one uh, is the big beast, it's got um, plenty of horsepower to run run this header. And yeah, we'll use this for not only for the for the sunflowers today, but we'll also use it for uh, our corn uh, when we get round to that as well. But today's today's aim is these sunflowers and soybeans. So all the fields in the middle of the middle of this little uh, quadrant here. So got a fair bit to do, um, but we'll crack on with it. Hopefully, this episode will be a little bit shorter than it has been. Um, uh, the last 
quite a few episodes have been over the half hour mark and I do intend to go a little bit shorter today um, and uh, yeah hopefully what we'll do by the end of this is we'll have soybeans into our dairy production to produce some soy milk um, <coughs> the sugar that's been producing out there the old uh, mill and our uh, productions pack facility uh, sugar mill I've been putting into our um, into the dairy um, and that has allowed us to have the sugar there for making the soy drink as well over here um, the honey's still ticking away uh, and what I've done is I've turned the the paper production back on as well uh, to generate some income as well so once that's produced uh, it will be good this this sawmill over here in fact all our sawmills except for the carpentry over there um, are out of wood as well so this winter's project will definitely be um, getting some wood uh, wood chopped down get some trees chopped down uh, get these back up and running as well and um, as I mentioned on the last episode that that mill there this little got one has got uh, the facility to make all the, the wood for the the different uh, platinum DLC productions as well but I am going to run out of production space at some point I think um, I won't have enough slots on this map to put any more in so we might have to do a bit of juggling and, and messing about with it um, off screen as well I sorted out all the different productions uh, topped up or needed to be topped up the only one I haven't done are the greenhouses down at the garden centre they need more seed uh, but I will get that done at some point um, that's not a problem um, and then yeah done a little bit of uh, jiggering with um, grapes as well so I put some more grapes into our production thing over there into the grape production and then uh, yeah everything else is all good so I'm just gonna park this here I've put one of our case harvesters away and um, this has got the smaller header and then the bigger one is round here and we're gonna get this serviced before we uh, go any further uh, so I just need to get our little toolbox from over here and get that there there we go so that needs repaired there we go and we'll check the header as well yeah header's knackered let's uh, repair that there we go Perfect. Right. Done. So, yeah, we'll get this uh, harvested down to the fields um, and get the soya beans on the go. Incidentally, um, our two horses here are doing really well. Um, if I show you on here, wherever they are, down the bottom, maple and syrup. So, yeah, they're doing pretty well. Um, I've not ridden them today but yeah they're in their re reproduction cycles so what I'm thinking is um, this series will end when these two give birth I think and uh, I think that'll be a nice finale to it because I've had those horses since the start of this series um, and yeah it'd be great to get some new births and I've never never had foals with horses before so um, yeah it should be should be pretty cool so jump in here definitely very autumnal just now and we'll get this down to our soybeans fields right then I'm just gonna put it on this field because yeah they're not being used just now um, as you can see I've uh, been busy I've got the uh, all these fields um, mulched um, what I did is I I left a worker on um, on here and they uh, went and mulched half of my uh, sugar cane as well. So what I've done is I've actually just mulched the whole of that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna.
fly over it and I'm going to put the sugar cane somewhere else I think because it's just going to yeah it, it was in a bit of a faffy place as well I'll find a more open field for it to go I think um, so let's get this going and uh, no straw no swath with this so that's fine so I'll get this going here okay and uh, yeah I'll do maybe a couple of headlands just across here and then I'll uh, get a, a worker on this maybe but yeah I do like this mod great wheat harvester right go around this way this one done as well And soya beans don't yield that high, so I'd imagine that I'll be able to get yeah a whole field in here, no bother. Um, and yeah, maybe that other small one as well, because I've only got three soya bean fields, so it's not so bad. Um, so we should get through this pretty quick, and then yeah, we'll get onto the sunflowers after that. So as I mentioned at the start of the episode, um, yeah, this series is going to come to an end fairly soon, I think. Um, I think once these harvests are done, then there will be a little bit of um, skipping forwards and stuff like that. Um, but I don't want to skip too far ahead because um, I've really enjoyed playing this map at a, a sensible pace. I've not. I've not skipped forwards much at all, um, the rules dictated that um, you had to sort of times, play at times 5 maximum anyway, so I've been doing that the whole way through. Um, the only thing I have been changing is sort of the days per month. Incidentally I've uh, kept that up at 2 days just now because um, I've got so much to do, but um, yeah, just just really enjoying it. All these trees growing up everywhere, and it's yeah. This this is one of my favourite parts of the map actually that I've built. Um, and all these uh, different trees growing up and stuff like that. It's is um, it's, uh, it's nice, nice. But uh, yeah, well, um, be sad to sad to leave this map, but at the same time, yeah, time to move on to pastures new. Not sure what though. Um, I think it may be an American map, you know. Um, but we'll see. Um, there are, there's been some amazing maps come out recently. Absolutely amazing. Um, so it would be good. But I do want to get my other series um, completed as well. I've got obviously the interactive role play still. Uh, in the background somewhere. I haven't been on it for about a month, but um, yeah, I do do want to continue on with that. Um, and yeah, I haven't finished the Logs to Hogs challenge yet on Silver Run, so um, that would be good to get that finished as well. Um, and then once uh, once once those are done, yeah, I'm kind of out of series. Um, our multiplayer server is, is still going 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 strong. Um, the farming sims. Uh, and I've left a link um, in there on this map, on the just in the top right for you for him. Um, has has devised a brilliant challenge on our multiplayer server. Um, that's um, on the New Jersey map, East East Vinelands, um, and yeah, it's called the Supply Chain Crisis. So basically, the the premise is that. Um, yeah, due to world events, uh, the town of East Vineland uh, is struggling to, to get supplies and um, us as a farming cooperative um, uh, uh, are there to help sort of keep the, the, keep the local community from starving uh, and, and 
here and struggling. So the idea is that we started with very little equipment and we've got to build a farm up cooperatively. It's a completely cooperative farm um, uh, and all the farmers involved work together to help help the community and, and do that. Um, and this uh, each year um, the farmer there's a farmer in charge so this year TFS has taken on the mantle since it was his challenge his idea um, and yeah he's in charge of finances and, and making sure everything works right and yeah keeping everyone going and then potentially the next year another person takes over but there's some cool rules involved with it um, uh, it looks really really good I have not had a chance to be on the map which I'm slightly gutted about um, I do want to get on there and, and have a go um, but if you are interested at all, do not hesitate to get in touch. Uh, I can point you in the right direction to the dedicated server and how to get onto it. Um, uh, myself and Cobbler Farm set up the server um, and obviously we've put TFS as a admin on it just now as well. So yeah, um, if you want to get in touch with any of us, just get in touch and yeah, we can point you in the right direction uh, and get you set up. Um, I think there's about six or seven farmers on it just now um, and yeah it's, it's, it's doing really, really well it's good it's good but like I said I've not really had time for any multiplayer stuff of late um, so yeah I do do want to get on there at some point um, but yeah yeah things have been restricted uh, at home with regards to doing all that sort of stuff so yeah, I will do it. We'll get on it. Um, but yeah. So, I think uh, what we'll do, we'll get a, a work going on this. Okay. Oh, it's gone a bit wonky. That's fine. And yeah, we'll leave the work to that. And then what we'll do, we'll head down here, and we'll get the Lexian going. I've got trailers dotted over these fields just now. There's one down here, as you probably saw before. So I've got the the case down here with our auger wagon, um, and I've got the McCormacks up at the top of this this field, the sunflower field, uh, ready for emptying uh, on here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in this now. Doink. The unfolding of harvesters is still, is still outstands me how I cannot do it any, every time. <laughs> it's quite... <laughs> never mind. Right. So I need to put that down, get that going, and away we go. So again, not a bad sized harvester this and header, so I think I went for the 20,000 capacity on this as well. Um, so we should get pretty much all of this into. Maybe I didn't, I can't remember now. But uh, yeah, we'll just uh, let this go and uh, we'll get this done. So I think uh, in a time honored tradition, we will get a time lapse going with this and uh, yeah ourselves through these four fields. Right. See ya. Anything made of that miracle
Okay, it's final bit of soya beans uh, in with the beans and park this up over here just now. There we go, and total 27,803 litres of soybeans. So I'm going to get these straight into the uh, production chain, uh, and we'll get that done, and then sneak through here if I can. There we go. Um, we've got our first cakes producing by looks of it, which is nice. Okay, yeah, so yeah, 400 litres of cakes, and uh, got another one on the way. Um, so that's uh, that's working at least. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, what I also did uh, is I put in a, a storage area here as well. So put this in here, uh, and in here just now we've got butter and sugar, and then I will add in the other ingredient. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll put in the other ingredients for the cake into there as well as extra so we can just easily transfer it across when we need to. Um, I forgot to show you as well last episode I have put in another cell point. Uh, obviously we've got the local in there which we used for um, uh, selling some bits and bobs earlier but then yeah I put the farmers market in as well so that's that's in there and we can sell um, all our products in there as well so that's kind of our little shop on the go um, and then yeah the Mi Familia uh, this place is absolutely amazing price for various products so uh, yeah we've been selling I think we made yeah was it almost 100,000 for um, Hundred thousand for the uh, grape juice, which is ridiculous. I know. Um, take it where you can. Whoa. Stuck in gear there. Quite a tight little cell point. This. I wonder who made this. Here it is. Alright. Let's get all that in there. There we go. It's filling up nicely. So we've got loads of sugar, 31,000 litres of sugar. So what we'll do, get this on, and yeah, we'll make our soya drink. There we go. So I have got some cheese still to pick up I think in here if I remember rightly oh no I've collected it all yeah spawn points just here so we should have some soy milk turn up pretty soon because it's quite a quick uh, quick produ producer is this uh, milk dairy but let's get back over to the fields and yeah we'll go and get the, the rest of these sunflowers in Okay, almost a full gra grain tank going in here again, so more seeds. So we've got 20,000 litres in there already, plus the 18 and a half or whatever it is I'm just putting in now. So yeah, this field's yielded pretty well actually, doing quite good. And obviously got this little section up here to do as well, just the odd shaped field, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, we'll get get this done. Um, still no sign of rain yet, but doing okay. 20 past, quarter past one, so pretty happy with that. And um, yeah, as I said, all soybeans are done, so all good. So I'll get this emptied. There we go. We've got this one stripped down here. Once we've done this, we'll go and get the other little bits and bobs of this field, and yeah, we'll see what we end up with in the total. Um, what I'd like to do is finish the episode with 
get some of that soya milk into uh, our packing facility warehouse um, and then yeah that takes us that last step one step closer um, to the final step of getting cereal on the go which we will do next episode once we get the corn harvested uh, and then that will give us all our productions yeah really like this harvester it's nice detail inside's cool as well CB radio there as well Amazing. The amount of detail Sid, Seed Modern puts into his work is ridiculous. I can't wait to see what he does with Giant, uh, giant um, the models that will produce a, a second to none. So crisp. Right. I will um, finish off this field and yeah, we'll probably see you. Yeah, probably see you over at the dairy and um, we'll let you know what the total is for this field. Um, what I'm probably going to do with these sunflowers is I'll put some into the production chain, but the rest I'll put into storage for now as well, I think. Because um, yeah, we don't. Um, I'm producing sunflowers from our gar greenhouse or our gardens as well, so we don't need to get too much on the go. But, um, yeah, so I need the sunflower oil for producing um, salad. I think. Or is it? No, actually it's uh, for crisps, for chips. So I could put this into our other potato production building and make some fats. Um, so I can start making french fries actually, that's what I could do with this. Maybe put half in there and then the half in storage. And, uh, yeah, we'll see, see where we end up. Right. Well, I just stopped at the garage here to get some fuel and wash the vehicle and it's, yeah, it's absolutely chucking it down now, but never mind. Um, we've got the uh, sunflowers done, um, so 44,000 litres of sunflowers in total, which is quite nice. Um, so they have been just, I've just put them into the old grain mill um, because I need to make sunflower oil for the potato factory and um, anything else that we want as well so in total there's 49,000 litres in there because I put some in from the open air garden before but I just thought I'd quickly show you this actually so this is the soy milk oh, I'm slowly drifting away into there um, that's what it looks like and it's just going into here just now and then what we'll do uh, that's still chugging away we'll go and just take this one up just to just to put it into the warehouse and uh, get that uh, next line in the production chain finished but uh, we've done pretty well I think today uh, we managed to dodge the rain which is good um, it's pretty wet now um, I'm keep hitting the pallet limit though so I need to keep just juggling all these uh, these productions what I'll probably do between now and the oh, the cake there to pick up as well what I will do between now and the next episode is I probably will sell a load of gold because um, we've got a load of that in, st uh, in storage just now and I'll sell a load of uh, metal as well we've got a lot of that in storage so sell those two things up here like I said we've just put all these um, sunflowers in so I might as well get that 
fact, no, I'll leave that for now because yeah, it's just going to plug up the plug up the supply chain. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to run out of pallet space again. So I may as well just leave it for now. But I will put this into our production factory uh, where facility warehouse. Yeah. Definitely getting there, eh? got canola oil, got the soy milk. In fact, what I'll do, since I can, we'll put the soy milk on distribution. That has now run out, so that can get turned off. But yeah, salad 33, soy milk. So in fact, what we'll do, put that to distribute. There we go, and then yeah, then that won't, we won't need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, I think clothing. Yeah, we'll soon have another pallet of that. So look at that, we're up to thirteen thousand eight hundred forty-four liters of fabric now. So yeah, it's all getting there. I think by the next episode we will be definitely at that point, and. We'll just need to make the the cereal so we get all this this uh, corn off the ground as long as it stops raining I suppose but for now I think we'll call it a day thank you very very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you have done don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel please do and if you want to share or comment you're more than welcome to remember what I said about the um, dedicated server and yeah, just get in touch if you want to uh, join in on that. Um, and yeah, check out check out TFS's uh, introduction to the challenge uh, in the link at the end of this episode. But from now, take care, and we'll see you very soon. All the best.